So welcome to the introduction to proofs by mathematical induction. Um, what we're going to do in this uh, video is going to go nice and slowly and prove by mathematical induction that the sum of the first n square numbers is equal to this expression here, n n plus 1, 2 n plus 1 uh, over 6, for n contained in the natural numbers n greater than or equal to 1. There are basically four parts to mathematical induction proofs, um, and they're all the same. So basically what we need to do is, first of all, is that uh, so number one is that we show the formula is correct for our base case i.e we show that it's correct for n equals one the next thing that we do is we assume that the formula is true for n equals k then what we do is we show that assuming it's true for n equals k then the formula is also true for n equals k plus 1. And then what we do is we write our conclusion, which is really important because if you don't write the conclusion, you lose a mark automatically. Okay, now the basic idea here is if we have proved that it's correct for 1, n equals 1, and we have proved that if it is correct for k, then it's correct for k plus 1, then we know that as it is correct for 1, therefore it is correct for n equals 2 because of this bit. But then we can say, okay, well, it's correct for n equals 2, therefore, by this bit, it's correct for n equals 3. And then we can say, well, hang on a sec, if it's correct for n equals 3, then it's correct for n equals 4, blah, 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 ad infinitum. So in actual fact, it is a good proof, and it's a valid proof, um, but some people don't seem to like it because they seem to think, hang on a sec, we need to know the answer first. But it is perfectly valid, very common question in exams and well worth getting to grips with. So first of all, let's do our base case, A. For n equals 1, let n equals 1, okay, and we need to prove that 1 squared, because it's only 1, is equal to, looking at our formula here, and just putting n equals 1 in, 1 times 1 plus 1 times 2 times 1, add 1, over 6, which equals 1 times 2 times 3 over 6, which equals 1. So, the formula is good for n equals 1. So that's the first bit done, our base case. Now what we have to do, the second bit, we say, assume, and you have to write this down, assume it's true for n equals k. So therefore we're assuming that 1 squared add 2 squared add, da, 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 add k squared equals k, k plus 1, 2k plus 1 over 6. We're assuming that that is correct. Okay, now what we do is we do C. Assuming that that is correct, we must show that it is true for k plus 1. So therefore, we must show that 1 squared add 2 squared add, da, 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 add k squared add k plus 1 squared is equal to, just replacing k by k plus 1 here, k plus 1, k plus 1 plus 1, 2k plus 1 plus 1 over 6, and just simplifying that slightly, that gives us k plus 1, k plus 2, 2k plus 3 over 6. We must show that this sum here is equal to that, given that we are assuming that that is true. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, basically, what we're going to do is we, we've assumed that it's true for n equals k. So we have assumed that 1 squared add 2 squared add da 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 add k squared is k, k plus 1, 2k plus 1 over 6. And so therefore we know that 1 squared add 2 squared add da da add k squared add k plus 1 squared equals k, k plus 1, 2k plus 1 over 6 add k plus 1 squared. All I've done is I've added k plus 1 squared both sides. And we have to show that this is identical to that in order to prove that if it's true for n equals k, then it's true for n equals k plus 1. And all we do now have to do now is manipulate this. So that equals, well, we can take k plus 1 out as a factor. So that would be k plus 1, k, 2k plus 1 over 6, add k plus 1. And we can also take the 6 out, so that equals k plus 1 over 6, k, 2k plus 1 
add 6k add 6 and let's tidy up inside the bracket that gives us k plus 1 over 6 times by 2k squared add k add 6k add 6 and that equals k plus 1 over 6 times 2k squared add 7k add 6 and we can factorise that to be equal to k plus 1 over 6 times by factorising this k plus 2 2k plus 3 and that is what we seek here and so therefore we can just rewrite this as equal to k plus 1 k plus 1 plus 1 2k plus 1 plus 1 whoops sorry over 6 which is as we required so therefore we have proved that if it is true for k equal uh, for n equals k then it is true for n equals k plus 1 now all we need to do now is d which is our conclusion conclusion is hence when you have to write this as it's true for n equals 1 and as it's true for n equals k plus 1 assuming true for n equals k then it is true for n greater than or equal to 1 by mathematical induction and you have to write this conclusion and you have to write it in that way to get your extra mark okay so basically in subsequent videos we're going to go through these a bit quicker but basically you will find that the same four parts to the proof appear get your base case assume n equals k show n equals k plus one is also true and then write your conclusion okay well i hope you found this useful if you have please uh, like this video and subscribe to the grusty academy youtube channel and look forward to uh, more complex proofs by mathematical induction uh, which is going to appear soon thank you